السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاه والسلام على سيد المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين I want to start first by thanking Allah Azza the Mighty for giving us the chance to be congregating tonight for such an honorable cause and I want to second thank my brothers in IIT for uh, their uh, initiative and concern and I wanted to thank more my Sheikh Sheikh Ahmed Kutti for always providing the inspiration for us. You have been a mentor for me since I came to Canada. May Allah bless you and give you barakah in your life and continue to uh, help you to be a, a source uh, of inspiration for the generations inshallah to come. Allahumma ameen. My brothers and sisters, I can't speak much of what has been said already. All I can say is that we are in the same trench with the people of Gaza. We feel their pain, we grieve with them, and we are also taking the battle with them. Our battle of fight here is not physical, it's not facing bombs, it's not into being under uh, the attack and bombardments, it's not being uh, heavily bombarded with unlawfully bombs, uh, that is forbidden internationally, but our war here is dealing with the propaganda. October 7 have created a benchmark to those who are standing for haq, for truth, for justice, for values, for those who have conscience, and for the others who don't have any of the above. I've said it from day one, I am, as a Muslim Canadian, I am, as a Palestinian Canadian, ashamed of all the officials of my government, starting from the top all the way to the bottom. And unless and until they wake up for their own conscience and they speak the truth and they act upon the truth, they're still going to be people who do not represent me. And I'm sure many of you are in the same boat with me. So what we can do, as my Sheikh have mentioned already, and Brother Farhat have mentioned, we need not to allow fear to creep into our hearts. From day one, you have noticed our official saying to us that you either with them or with us. We say we are with the haq. Do not intimidate us. This tone of intimidation has been widely used and we have seen it in the past in the war of Gulf. Those who remember in the 1990s, know exactly what I'm talking about. When the American people were consulted on what is, whether they should be going to war in the Gulf, the majority were saying, why should we be sending our children to war? Why should we be sacrificing their life for something, for some, for other causes? It took only a few days of hard work from the media to make all the American behind the person who have misled them to go to war because they later on said, oh, sorry, I based my decision based on false intelligence. We heard the same rhetoric once again by the president of the U.S. saying that there were 40 people, 40 babies who were beheaded. And then after that, he come back again and retract his statement. Now we're hearing the same rhetoric again and saying that the bomb of the hospital in Gaza was done by Palestinians. Shame on you all. Shame on the international community leaderships because they have failed their own people and they have failed their own principles and morals. I'm sure as we have in Canada here, it's also in the rest of the world. All people from different faith backgrounds, cultural backgrounds have stood up for justice. Let's continue to do that. This is what we can do. We're in a war of a propaganda against the falsehood. Take, uh, do not allow the fear to be creeping into your heart. Empower yourself with whatever tool you can do, civilized tools of, of defending the haq and truth. Young people, are you are soldiers of the haq. All of you are savvy in, in social media. It is your responsibility. The children of Gaza are counting of in, on every single person who is skilled with the social media. Promote the truth, promote the haq. What we have seen throughout the world is magnificent. It's outstanding. It's unheard of. Now we're seeing the officials backtracking what they have said at the first day. Now gradually we're seeing people and, and officials saying, 
We need to talk about ceasefire. We need to look into why this have happened. Do not intimidate us and use words of uh, questions of intimidation to make us confused and feel that we are always guilty to speak the haq. We should not be feeling guilty for talking the haq. Yes, indeed, there has been an occupation of land for over 75 years. Yes, indeed, there are 400 plus villages were destroyed over the, the, in the land of Palestine where the state of Israel was established. Yes, there were many massacres committed on the land of Palestine. There he has seen. And the suffer of Ashatil is still vivid in our hearts. I am as a Palestinian, remember, still in my childhood, what took place in Sabra and Shatila. I'm still traumatized with it. They cannot take that out of my own imagination. Shame on them to always keep a blind eye on the, the un unlegal actions of the Israeli apartheid regime. We need to speak the truth. What are we hearing of? They're going to be doing the same thing that our regimes back home are doing to us? Let it be. We have no fear anymore. This is it. Go to all the demonstrations and you will see young people saying, no fear, this is it. It has to end. The lives, the, the lives of those innocent children are so precious and they are more precedent and more valuable than anything else. And unless and until our officials understand that and then change their tune and stand for the hub, the atrocities will continue to happen. So my brothers and sisters, do not allow fear to creep to your heart. Do not fear them, but fear me, the mighty Allah. You as an individual has a lot in your disposition. Think as a person, what can I do to promote the truth? Using social media, speaking to people around me. Uh, you know, as Sheikh was mentioning, dhikr, the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah kathiran, la'allakum tuflihoon. There is a lot we can do. We, can, we have a very powerful secret weapon that would not be failing, which is the dua in the last third of the night when Allah Azza wa come to the lower sky and tonight is a Friday night, which is the dua is accepted. Let our dua be to the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal with tears in the heart in the position of sujood. Ya Rabbi! This is the little we can do to stand for justice and haq. Justice and haq. We are standing for justice and haq all over the globe. I personally have spoken a lot about the indigenous rights. And as I have spoken about the indigenous rights, I am talking about the rights of my own people in Palestine. And I'm talking about the rights of the people of Syria and Yemen and in Myanmar and in, in Kashmir and in Afghanistan and all over the world. We need to stand for hak and justice. There's a lot we can do and let's not be intimidated and allow the fear to creep to our heart. My next point to you is be mindful of your mental health and the mental health of your family members. As a professional psychotherapist, personally, I have felt the impact of what is happening into my own life. For the past two days, I have been going to bed exhausted, wake up in the morning more exhausted than the night before. And I was asking myself, what's going on? And I re retract and realize what I have been, you know, teaching and, 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 and instructing my own clients when they come to me. Stress is lethal. Communicate with family members and allow this stressful environment to be a tool to unite you all together as a family, to be united in the trench of haq, working together with all the possibilities, with all the power, with all the resources you have as a family to do something to stand with the haq, whether be it to collect donations uh, every day, every morning before Salat al-Fajr, you get up for Salat al-Fajr and you put in the donation box, this is for the children of Palestine. And we pray to the mighty Allah said that the borders will be open. Let's, let's bombard the, the mailboxes of our MBs, our prime minister with all the officials and say to them, what are you doing? Do you want our voices of, 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 uh, for, for your next election? Before we, before we see you stepping by the door of the masjid, we need to see your actions. Otherwise, we are firm with our own beliefs. Keep in mind also that all of us are being intimidated in our workplaces. 
I'm sure you have heard about those who have lost their jobs for expressing their short support and solidarity. You've heard about the MPP, our sister Sarah Jama, from the riding of Hamilton, which is in the riding of the, of the masjid I go to. And I said to the premier of our province, shame on you for using your power to intimidate our sister. You, this needs to stop. And speak your mind, they cannot fire all of us from workplaces. But if we all stand up and we show solidarity and support, they will change their rhetoric and their tone and the truth, inshallah, will be revealing. With this, inshallah, we conclude with the dua because I know the time has come to Salat al-Isha. Al Let's pray from our hearts. Allahumma lak alhamdu kumma in bagli jalali wajhik wa adhim sultanik. Allahumma lak alhamdu. لك الحمد يا من خلقت السماوات والأرض ولم تعي بخلقهن لك الحمد يا من لم تتخذ ولدا ولم يكن لك شريك في الملك ولم يكن لك ولي من الذل والله أكبر كبيرا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك لهما على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد اللهم يا رب السماوات والأرض ورب العرش العظيم ها نحن في بيت من بيوتك يا رب يا ربي لا حول لنا ولا قوة إلا بك يا جبار اللهم إن إخواننا في فلسطين اللهم إن إخواننا في غزة لا حول لهم ولا قوة إلا بك يا رب يا رب كن معهم يا رب يا رب احفظ أرواحهم يا رب احقن دماءهم يا رب يا رب آمن روحاتهم يا رب يا رب اطعم جوعهم اكس عراهم فك أسر أسراهم يا رب إنهم لا حول لهم ولا قوة إلا بك يا رب قد تخلى عنهم كل الناس ولا لا أمل ولا رجاء له إلا بك يا جبار السماوات والأرض اللهم ارحمهم برحمتك اللهم وفق لنصرتهم اللهم وفق لنصرة الحق على الأرض يا رب العالمين اللهم وفق لنصرة الحق فإنك على كل شيء قدير يا الله we pray to you supplicate to you you are the mighty يا رب we have gathered in this house of yours in this night this this night to pray to you to supplicate to you with our broken hearts يا رب with the tears of our eyes يا رب our brothers and sisters in غزة right now have no one to stand for them, Ya Rabbi. Ya Rabbi, elevate their suffering, Ya Allah. Protect their lives, Ya Rabbi. Protect their blood, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, feed them, they are hungry, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, the whole world had imposed a siege on them, Ya Rabbi. Ya Rabbi, they have lost hope of everything except for you, Ya Mighty. Allahumma munzil al-kitab wa mujri al-sahab اللهم يا هازم الأحزاب نسألك بجلالك أن تقر أعيننا بالصلاة في المسجد الأقصى آمنين مطمئنين فإنك على كل شيء قدير يا الله you are the mighty يا الله you say to things be and they would be يا الله we pray to supplicate to you to make it easy on those who are suffering on earth يا رب العالمين يا الله elevate those who are suffering on earth يا رب العالمين يا الله feed those who are hungry on earth يا الله Clothe those who are naked, Ya Allah. Free those who are captive, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we pray to you, supplicate to you to bring the conscience to the hearts and minds of the official of people on earth, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Allah, help us to be people of conscience, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Help us to be people who, who stand for haq and struggle for it, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Allah, this is our dua, Ya Rabbi, and our hope that you will not turn us down, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa before I hand the mic back again to my brother, there is two ways we can of support beside being active uh, in a civil manner. We, of course, uh, will be doing financial uh, support, and I'm sure that the institution have done that. But I want to also urge you tonight to consider every family to provide $100 sponsorship to the work of NCCM, National Council of Canadian Muslims. Why? Because again, we are in a war of propaganda and all of us do not know how to navigate through the system. Just briefly and quickly, we are in a political system that is manipulated and affected by advocacy group. And this is a fact. I'm not bringing something that is secret. No, you go online and you will see what's the political system like in Canada. And an and advocacy group work on behalf of businesses, certain groups and individuals to persuade the officials of the government in certain direction. Now, all of us don't have expertise nor the time to be able to do that. But our brothers and sisters in NCCM, may Allah bless them, have been working tirelessly to make that happen. So it is our responsibility and on behalf of the children of Gaza to at least make it possible for them to be able to dedicate enough resources to be able to do this job 
for the people of Gaza and for ourselves because Islamophobia is on the rise and we need to ensure that all those who are not aware of what's happening globally and what's happening locally to Muslims are aware and they're taking practical actions to eliminate it and that is only possible through advocacy group like NCC and please I have given you know posters scan it in the way out or go to nccm website and support 100 dollars to the disc of palestine so that they will have enough resources to be able to do the job that is needed to be done with thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much